Leonardo, Grundtvig and Transversal are three parts of the European Commission's lifelong learning programme. If you're involved in vocational training or education, they're your key to some exciting European opportunities. Send learners or job seekers on training abroad, build partnerships across 31 countries or get funding to attend a conference or study visit. These are just some of the ways that organisations in Northern Ireland are benefiting right now. I think there's been a major change to how people in the workforce will conduct themselves in the next number of years. Gone are the days when you learn something once at school or university or college and that that no longer does you for the rest of your life. Also, the world has become a smaller place and we need to cooperate with our fellow citizens in the rest of the European Union and share experience and share ideas. The Leonardo Grundtvig and Transversal programmes are meeting this challenge by helping European organisations to learn from each other. It is essential that our experiences are shared and we gain the maximum benefit from each other's um, experience and each other's skills. We have a wide range of lifelong learning program opportunities for you. Let's take a look at what's happening in Northern Ireland. Ronan Heenan is Director of Dairy Farm Training. He went on a week-long transversal study visit to Helsinki to learn how the vocational training industry is monitoring and improving the quality of learning it provides. We were taken around a number of educational establishments uh, in Helsinki and Turku. Um, we were sort of shown the, you know, the seat of, of government in Turku, the, you know, the city municipal the administration. Um, we toured uh, a couple of factories, um, educational establishments, um, one in particular which, which was quite interesting was a catering college that we went to see, um, sort of done catering courses, hospitality, tourism, that kind of stuff. Uh, we met quite a few students who, who done different presentations for us and that kind of stuff. So very interesting trip and very interesting to see how other European cities and countries do, do their training, vocational training, which is what we do here as well. Ronan's placement in Finland was one of around 300 types of study visit organised each year by Transversal. Professionally, I would you know, I'd say the networks and contacts that I have made, um, and I say if things ever, you know, we don't know what's around the corner, um, you know, if there is a programme or, or something comes up and we need a transnational partner, I now have contacts in 13 countries that I wouldn't have had before. It was interesting to see how, how things were done. I think the whole use of ICT and training and, and new technologies was quite interesting. It's some stuff that I could have brought back here and applied to our organisation. It was quite interesting. One of the organisations used um, text messaging to stay in touch with their students and keep them up to date with things, whatever else. So we've introduced a similar sort of system here. Uh, so that was one very, very positive benefit. Southern Regional College used Leonardo Mobility funding to send teachers and students to Norway. They saw firsthand some of the state-of-the-art technology used in mass furniture production. The Leonardo project, whenever it was introduced to us, we thought it was a fantastic opportunity, especially to go to somewhere like Scandinavia, which in the world market at present is probably the dominant area for design and also the predominant area for wood production. Our staff are going abroad, they are sharing their good practice and they're exchanging with colleagues. So our classrooms are beginning to look a little bit uh, more different and more European. On a, on a much larger and industrial scale, 
they had processes for bending this wood. We have it on a much smaller scale where we take this laminate and it, whenever it's glued, it will form around some of these objects. Okay, like this one here that we have already completed. This initially started out as several pieces of, of laminate and they finish up to become like this. The college also sent teachers and staff from a construction course to learn about sustainability issues in the building industry. I'd, I'd recommend uh, Leonardo because it does give us an opportunity to widen our horizons, to see other um, cultures, see other ideas of how things are done and it, it does provide uh, most of the funding to enhance that. It's something actually we would find difficult to um, develop ourselves without that. Leonardo offers us great funding, things that and initiatives that we wouldn't have done in the past, such as travel, such as supporting our students and staff to travel and staff development. Leonardo Prime Pumps are initiatives. We see new things happening now in the college, all because of the Leonardo Da Vinci programme. Belfast Metropolitan College is involved in EASY, a Grintvig partnership that brings together sixth form students with older people to share and examine attitudes towards European issues. I think one of the um, main benefits was the feeling of Europeanisation. I think they begin to, to sense more a sense of European values, European culture, that kind of thing. Looking at other Europeans and seeing just how similar they are, had the same kind of difficulties, the same kind of problems and so on, you know. So there's a feeling, if you like, of collegiality, I think, that's brought about by this kind of programme. I heard about um, the group through the U3A, the University of the Third Age, and I joined the group uh, for Storyboard. I love writing and uh, we posted it on the internet along with seniors from other countries. I think about six countries were involved. Italy, Germany, Finland, Belgium, Spain and ourselves. I thought um, travelling around with old people, basically um, having the opportunity to talk to them was a new experience because I don't really get much contact with them. And I came to appreciate the difficulties they had in everyday life. like mobility and so forth and um, they also had a lot of life experience and I really appreciated, really appreciated that as well. We visited uh, the Netherlands, you know, and there it was an eye-opener to me really to begin with uh, how they all were able to speak English whereas we were not able to speak their language you see and how easy it was to get on with people even though, you know, we hadn't the language. It was realising that um, we're all part of um, a much larger um, society than we are just being on our own in our own country, that we're part of European society. The EASY project is especially profound because it brings together people from communities that until recently were divided. You just, I think the main thing that I learned from my trip was I think in Northern Ireland we are very focused on stereotypes due to basically the way that society is, the political nature, we always brand people by certain political titles or, or whatever. As you have seen, we have great opportunities for you. You are just a few steps away from an exciting and rewarding European experience. Why don't you take your chance? To find out more, why not come to one of our information days? They're held in Northern Ireland every year. If you like what you see, you can book onto an advice surgery, which will help you to turn your ideas into a strong application for funding. You can find out about our application deadlines and read about other funding opportunities available under the Lifelong Learning Programme at www.lifelonglearningprogram.org.uk